Hey guys, the weekend is here and Monday is public holiday, but that's not what we're talking about. We're here to talk about trending stories that made it to the top this week. So join me on the flip side. I'm UK Butter and I'm going to be giving you and it is hot. Controversial singer Naramali this week faces a new wave of backlash for taking a jab at his late ex signing Mobad in a newly released song by Zeno Linsky. It will be recalled that recently Mobad marked the first remembrance, marking a year since his untimely demise that his investigation yielded no conclusion. The singer, who was named a suspect in Mobad's case, stated in some part of his song, suggesting that the late singer was an opposition, could also mean enemy that could be left in the casket. Another sad story that hit the Nigerian social media space this week was Afrobeat singer Pato Ranking, who reportedly lost his younger sister Choma and her husband George to a gas explosion. Choma passed away immediately after the gas explosion, while her husband initially survived but sadly died four days ago. Also trend story for this week, popular Nigerian cross-dresser Bob Risky has reportedly splashed millions of naira on a Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon amid a recent social media frenzy surrounding him. Bob Risky was seen in a video showcasing the car's sleek, ultra-modern design and impressively luxurious interior features, complete with a glossy jet black finish. And finally, on trending stories that made it to the top this week, Rema shares his thought on why some people hesitate to give him the accolades he deserves. Following the globe success of his hit single, Calm Down, Rema has reportedly stated that he belongs in the leagues of Afrobeat's biggest flag bearers. In a recent interview on The Breakfast Club, Rema stated that some people might be reluctant to acknowledge his claims of being at the level of the Afrobeat Big 3 because he hasn't spent a decade in the game. Both on his EP Revenge and recently released Super Bowl album years, Rama confidently made his claim to a spot next to the Afrobeat Big 3, which is in term used to describe the trio of Davido, Whiskey, and Bono Boy. And there you have it for some of the trends that made it to the top this week. Do well to like, subscribe, send your comments, and do not forget to always follow us each time we drop a post. Thanks for watching, signing out.